So many people are quitting their jobs. Last year, over 47 million people turned in their two-week notice and never looked back. Businesses across the country are experiencing operational chaos as new data shows a record number of people quitting their jobs. 4.3 million Americans left their jobs in August alone. A record 4.4 million Americans quit their jobs in September. Labor Department data shows 4.5 million Americans quit their jobs in November. So what exactly is causing everyone to walk away from their job? Are you on the verge of doing the same thing? Don't worry, we're about to get to the bottom of it all right after this. What's up guys, this is Monique and welcome back to the channel. I am back with the news that you can use, but first, if you are new here, hello, bonjour, hola, konnichiwa, shalom. Thanks so much for stopping by, but don't just be a stranger. Hit that subscribe button and join the family. Also, go ahead and hit that like button so that I don't have to go back to the job that I quit too. No, but really your like helps to get this info out to more people. So I just shared all the stats for how many people quit in 2021, but that trend is continuing this year. In January and February, the amount of people that quit their jobs remained well above 4 million each month. So that just makes you wonder what is happening. This is something that we need to talk about. Well, I know why I quit my job, but also when you think about it, for many, this all started as a result of the pandemic. That really shook things up for everyone. It gave so many people a chance to pause and reflect, and honestly, that's all you could do during that time. Because people were being laid off, non-essential businesses were closing, we were put on lockdown, and we weren't able to leave the house. And with that, a lot of people people had to figure out how to survive. So when you put being fired from a job, lockdown going on and not being able to find another one, that led many to start their own business. And that's what a number of people are doing. Even this person right here, they say they walked away from their job as an industrial mechanic after being laid off. So then that led them to open their own drain cleaning and plumbing company. So this time really birthed a lot of entrepreneurs because more people than ever are starting their own businesses. This person right here quit their job, also started their own business, and now they are making $119,000 a month. And so about a year after all of the chaos, when things started to settle just a little and the workforce started to open back up, they expected everyone to come rushing back with open arms, but that did not happen. A lot of people said during that time, they actually realized that they were living to work instead of working to live. So during that break, they had time to really think about what they want to spend their life doing. And so all of this led to what they are now calling the great resignation because of the record amounts of people that are quitting. But I think it should really be called the great realization because so many people realize what it is that they really want what it is that they really worth and you had people that already wanted to try something new but were so afraid to make that change but the pandemic forced them into it it pushed them out of their comfort zones and made them start thinking outside of the box people got really creative and it just gave them the boost that they needed to go after whatever it is they want and so when the workforce decided to start calling everybody back and reaching out to people and discovered that they aren't coming back a lot of people blamed that on the government because of the fact that they were giving people unemployment checks so they thought that was the cause of people staying home now you know there are always some good with the bad but honestly when you think about it and those checks stopped a lot of people still did not return to work so that means that it was something greater going on that's causing people to not go back rather than just getting those checks and in fact honestly after the check stopped is when the number of people that were quitting jobs increased and some people went on ahead and labeled a lot of people as lazy but to tell you the truth a lot of people that are quitting jobs they are going on to find better opportunities they're not just going home to relax well at least they thought it was better opportunities because now that's a problem for many because it is now being reported that 70% of those workers that quit now regret it and 73% of people are thinking about quitting their current job so things are just continuing to spiral out of control but let's go ahead and get to the real reason that people are quitting the reason that people are not really taking time out to see I mean the pandemic itself I think put everybody in a position where they're just constantly reevaluating what's best for them and their families Americans are burnt out I like to think of it as it's a take this job and shove it measure it's just a sign of people saying, you know, I don't need this. Experts say workers are looking for better opportunities, better hours, and more perks. Trouble with childcare 
has also contributed to the employment across the country. In a recent survey, one of the top reasons that it says that people are quitting their job is because of low pay. With this rise in inflation, and I'm talking about mortgage rates rising, you have people paying almost double the rent. But the one thing that's really not increasing is the amount of money that these people are making. You have food increasing, you have everything going up except salary. So people are looking for better pay because they need it. And the survey also found that another big reason that people were actually quitting their job was because there was no opportunities for advancement. People were starting to feel stuck and unhappy. I think this generation, a lot of people are looking for growth, growth in their life in every area, including their careers. As you can see here, this person said they worked in a food industry since they were 16 years old. They are now 30, so that is 14 years. They were never offered any managerial positions or supervisor positions. And so like I said earlier, this time is giving everybody the courage to do what it is that they really want. So that person quit and they opened their own restaurant and now they are offering opportunities to people who may not have them. I know across the board, a lot of people are complaining about the fact that they are tired of getting disrespected at work and you have a high amount of people that are actually quitting the hospitality business, restaurants, retail. They are tired from disrespect from management and from customers. Some of them say that the average workplace is actually hostile. It messes with their mental health. So it's just really not a good situation, especially during this time where people are already vulnerable. Now you let me know if you quit your job or you're considering it, if any of these reasons are why you are thinking about quitting or did quit. And I know one of the biggest things that's going on right now too is because people want flexibility. Since the workforce is opening back up you know they had created a lot of work from home remote positions and now they want people to come back into work they're trying to force people to return but people have gotten comfortable with the flexibility that working at home provided especially with gas prices being through the roof that saves people a lot of money people were having child care issues so being able to work at home offer them what they needed to be able to continue to work. Now, like I said earlier, I actually quit my job as a nurse practitioner and I never looked back. But for me, it was because I felt like the only security that I had in my job would be if I worked for myself. Because like many during the pandemic, I was laid off from my job, a job that I had worked very hard. I was helping put a lot of money in other people's pockets. I gave it my all and for them to turn around and be able to lay me off, not think twice about it. So that made me feel like I need to put myself in a position that I don't put my work and my job and my life in the hands of anyone else. So I felt like I wanted to work for myself. And so that's why I am here. But if it wasn't for being laid off and being in a toxic work environment, because after I was laid off, maybe six months later, I did return to a job for a couple of months, but the management was horrible. It was just a mess. And that was just the nail in the coffin for me. And a lot of people thought I was crazy for doing it. But when you believe in yourself enough and when you have things set up because I'm never ever going to suggest anybody go quit without having some kind of plans and something to carry them through that time but when you feel that strongly about it for myself I just had to do what I felt like was necessary so while this pandemic has caused a lot of pain for many people I think that it also helped to push people out of their comfort zone it led people to take risks that they never would have done if it wasn't for this time People are going for better pay, more opportunities, and they are truly finding their happiness. So if you ask why many people are quitting, that's what I have found to be the case. So I hope that this video has helped someone out there today. Don't forget to like this video. Also subscribe if you have not done so. And other than that, thank you so much for watching and until next time, we are out. Peace.